A single image can say a lot, but what if you could really bring it to life as an engaging video in just a few clicks? With Poyo AI, you can transform any image into a dynamic video complete with realistic motion in seconds. No editing skills necessary, no complex software, just pure AI magic. Hey, I'm Joseph from Poyo, and today I'll show you how to take a static image and turn it into a smooth, high-quality video using Poyo AI. Whether you're a creator, a marketer, or just anyone experimenting with AI, this tool makes it easy to generate eye-catching animations. And this is just the beginning. Poyo AI has a ton of features to generate and customize your videos and images. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to convert images into video and take full advantage of AI-powered animations. So to follow along, head over to poyo.ai or click the first link in the description below. It's free to get started. All right, let's jump into my computer. Okay, so we are inside Poyo and I'm going to show you how to turn your images into videos with AI. Inside Poyo, it couldn't be easier. All you do is click on image to video in the sidebar. And this is where you're going to have full control over the videos that you generate. And it's all in this simple little sidebar control right here. So in the top right of the sidebar, you have all of the different AI models that are available that you can use to generate videos from your images. So we're going to do a couple in this example. I went ahead and generated a few images already that we can use for this. So we're going to start with this image of a bunny. I think that's a great one to start with. It's adorable. So we're going to do that. We're going to use the cling model. I think that's probably best to start here. We're going to leave the prompt default and we're just, we'll just see what the AI does with the image. It will kind of get creative on its own. But if you want to add additional controls, you could. You could add special kinds of zooms if you wanted. And the AI could use that as reference when generating the video. But we're just going to leave it blank and see what happens. We have the option with this model to choose professional mode. So we're going to try that. For prompt strength, you can use this little slider here to be more creative or follow more default instructions. In our case, the prompt is blank. So we're just gonna leave it here and it shouldn't really affect it too much. So now for video length, you can choose five seconds or 10 seconds. The only difference is how many credits it costs, right? So we'll just do five seconds for these examples. That way they also generate pretty quickly. A few more things here to cover. The negative prompt, which is optional, is something you wanna use if you've had a, if you previously generated a video inside Poyo and you got a result you didn't like. So let's say that the sun is too bright or something you could do you could list sunlight here and it would remove um it would make the ai model less likely to generate sunlight in the video it's creating right anything that you don't like you can list here and then it will help you generate something that's more accurate to what you have in mind we're going to leave that blank because we're just experimenting right now and then below that you have the option to enable public visibility which would just mean that whatever you generate would show up in the explore tab inside of poyo we can just leave that off and you want to turn on copy protection if you're using any kind of images or prompts that you don't want anyone else stealing from you right because they're going to be public inside of poyo potentially so you turn that on and then your assets that you've uploaded are protected so once that's ready once you have everything set up the way you want it you just click create and then it will get to work turning your image into a video now while that's starting what I'm gonna do is generate a second one, but we're going to use the runway model as well. And as you can see, the panel changed a little bit. You have some different options available because you're now using the runway API, right? So one of the things you see here is there's a toggle to add an in frame. So let's say you have two similar images and they're and you're trying to tell a story with them, right? You can actually upload both and you can have the AI do um, like a point A to point B within those two images and, and kind of blend them together. For this example, we're just going to use the bunny and we're going to compare it to the two models just to keep it simple. So we're going to use the bunny, we're going to leave the prompt blank, and we're going to put nine by 16 because that's closer to the original resolution. We're going to leave it as a five second video link. And we already went over these two toggles here. So now we're just going to click create and we're going to get that one going. So the runway model is going to generate extremely quickly. The, the cling model is almost done. I'm going to wait for them to finish generating and then I will cut to the finished videos for you guys to check out. All right, so the video generation is complete and we can see the bunny generation from cling here. You can see there's not a lot of movement other than just natural like 
wind in the grass moving back and forth and some of the trees in the background but you can tell that it actually i think it actually made the made it look more realistic right in terms of the actual image quality as well when we compare that to runway you know we get more camera movement and the bunny moves a lot more but it doesn't look as realistic as the cling model right so there's pros and cons to both of these generations here overall i think i prefer the cling model which i'm surprised because usually i expect runway to perform really well but both are amazing examples okay so now let's do a, another image we'll do several generations with different models this time as well so let me upload this image of a woman taking a selfie in a park in a city and let's select some models so now let's do this Vidu model to start as you can see the panel changed a bit again so we'll leave the prompt empty we'll do 1080p and we'll do auto motion just let it decide and that's it so let's click create and it'll be 25 credits so let's let that one generate and while that one is generating let's select another model so let's do this Hayaluo model right here and this one has very little settings you can tweak but you have the option to add a prompt here. So we could add a prompt, we could say, woman taking a selfie in the park, windy. Add a little bit of camera controls in there as well. And you click create and that's gonna be 50 credit. So we will let that one generate. And let's go ahead and do a third model here uh, to get an idea of one more model. So the prompt actually saved from the last one. Um, so we'll leave that the same and we'll turn on magic prompt and magic prompt allows the AI when, when this toggle is available, it allows the AI to improve your prompt before sending it off to the AI model, right? That's just a feature built into Poyo and it works amazingly. It works, it works so well. So you should definitely experiment with that as well. Now below that, we have the option to choose between five seconds or 10 seconds. We'll do five seconds so that it's less credits and we can select an aspect ratio. So we'll leave it at nine by 16 and click create. So now we have three different generations that are in progress and I will let these generate and then I will cut to the finished videos as soon as they're ready to show you guys. All right, now the generations are complete. So let's check them out. So first we have the Vaidu generation. So if we click on it, we can get a better view here. And wow, so you see that camera movement to the right there that was actually really impressive because it generated a whole new section of the city in the background, which is incredible. And you can see some movement in the park behind her and the, and the hair movement all looks really convincing. So overall, incredible. Beneath that, we have the next one. So this is the Hailuo model. And if we click on that, we can see. So I don't like this one as much because the eye contact is kind of awkward. She's not quite looking right at the camera the way you naturally would in a video like this. So that one is not my favorite, but it still overall looks pretty good. Beneath that, we have the seaweed model. So if we click on it and open it up, you can see we have someone moving in the park behind her out of focus, and that's incredible. And the quality on this one just looks great. The, the hair movement and the facial expressions all look really natural. So that's a great example from seaweed as well. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try a few more models with another example image. So let me just upload one more example. This time let's do this image of a Ferrari that I have. So it's a little bit different subject matter. So now let's do, let's clear out the prompt here and let's do a few more models we haven't tried yet. Let's do the Poyo model. So this is Poyo AI's own model and we're just gonna let, we're gonna leave that one blank. We'll do five seconds for this and we'll click create and let that get started. And now let's choose another model Let's go ahead and go with this Luma model here for the next generation. Again, this one doesn't give you very much control other than a prompt. For this one, we'll just leave it blank and we'll let it do its thing. We'll click create for that one as well. And we'll do one more. We can do the Pixverse model here. This one is Pixverse V3 and it says advanced prompt comprehension. So let's go ahead and write a little prompt here. Smoke behind Rari. All right, there's a little prompt that we can use and we'll choose normal for this just for the fast generation. Now we have the option to select a style here. So if you drag here, you can see a couple of different options. 
let's just leave it on auto right, so it can make a decision and then we'll do 540p for the resolution and then we'll leave these settings the way they are and click create this one's only 20 credits so that's really good so i'm going to let these other ones finish and then we'll go through the generations and i will i'll cut to the finished videos as soon as they're ready okay the generations are all completed so let's check them out so here we have Poyo's own model and you can see the smoke looks great it actually follows the racetrack in a way that really makes sense and it all looks very convincing so i'm really impressed the Poyo model i might be a bit biased but the Poyo model looks great and then beneath that we have the luma model and so this one gets a little bit warped in the background as you can see this white line here that gets created and then the car kind of becomes a strange shape as it drifts the wrong way so overall this model did not perform as good as the Poyo model and then beneath that we have the pix first v3 model this one has a lot of camera movement wow look how much it added to the image so we can see the race car drifts off the track and does almost like a donut here and it adds you know a whole additional parts of the scene with uh some forest in the background and everything else that's amazing uh it's it's really created a full storyline out of a sing single image that's impressive while we're here i do want to mention a few more features so beneath all of the videos that you generate you can see a couple different buttons here that you can click on we have the reprompt feature which allows you to reuse the prompt we can regenerate let's say you liked what you set up but the ai didn't quite get it right you can use the regenerate option then we also have the option to add sound effects which uses ai to generate sound effects for the videos you create we have the option to upscale the video resolution and use the video to create an entirely new AI video. And then if we go to the right side here, we have a few little buttons that pop up. We have the option to download whatever you created with or without a watermark. You can share to social media. And then we have the option to click right here and copy the link. And then you can share this with anyone very easily. It's hosted through Poyo and they can see and uh, check out whatever you created. Okay guys, so that's the image to video generation. And just so you know, if you look on the other, on the sidebar here, Poyo has so many more features, including text to video, consistent character videos, which means you can use the same face repeatedly. It has video to anime. If you want to create some video effects to your existing videos, making them more of an anime style. You can also use our AI video effect library here where you can use all kinds of cool effects on your existing images and create incredible stylized videos from them. And then if you want to generate images like the ones that I used today in this video, you can use our AI image generator here and you can select between several different models as well. And there's even more. So inside our AI tools library here, we have some other additional features like an upscaler, enhancer, and a few more things for you to experiment with that I think you're going to really love. So definitely go check all these things out inside of Poyo right away. They're really cool. And just like that, you've taken simple images and turned them into dynamic videos. No complicated software, no manual editing, just AI doing all of the work. If this video helped, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI image and video tutorials. And if you wanna try it out for yourself, if you haven't already, head over to poyo.ai or check the link in the description below. Try it out and let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. We're here to help. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.